Well, Protein Sciences is located right here on Research Parkway for a reason. Their scientists have been working around the clock since February to develop a COVID-19 vaccine. The United States is betting $2.1 billion that their research will pay off. 210 COVID-19 vaccines are being developed across the globe at a rate never seen before. A data haven survey found one in five Connecticut residents doesn't plan to get the COVID vaccine. Would you get it? Yes, I would take it. I would not get it right away. It seems like they're rushing it. Probably not in the first like run of the releases. One of those vaccines has been in development here at Protein Sciences in Meriden. They just started enrolling 460 people in a phase one, two trial last week on track for a more diverse phase three trial of 30,000 people by December. I say to those people, I think to me, the key thing is to trust the science. If a vaccine is approved, it will be safe and effective. There are no corners being cut. And in breaking news Tuesday, Sanofi and Protein Sciences joining eight other leading biopharmaceutical companies signing a pledge to only ask for emergency use authorization after phase three trials prove a vaccine is safe and effective. And the progress has been really remarkable. It's been a really um, incredible six months. Um, my colleagues have worked days, nights, and weekends. Lewin told Fox 61 they're working on two vaccine candidates. One where the spike protein, which is the protein that generates immunity to the virus, is built in a lab and injected into the body. A second candidate called mRNA essentially codes the protein for your cells and lets your body become the factory. I think they're both different and promising technologies and you need um, multiple shots on goal because one vaccine won't be enough. Protein Sciences and Sanofi say the plan is to have 100 million doses ready by early next year. At the moment, uh, it looks like uh, first priority will be to healthcare providers. Followed by essential workers. And although the research is still underway, a vaccine will likely require several doses throughout the year. For the clinical trials, we're testing two doses and there probably will be a need for a booster to maintain immunity. And in a bit of good news, protein sciences told me that unlike the flu virus, which changes from year to year, and the vaccine is only between 50 and 60% effective, the coronavirus spike protein is actually more stable, so it should, should generate a strong immune response. Reporting in Meriden, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.